students. Well, Halloween weekend is coming up quickly, and there are safety tips to remember if you plan to be outside celebrating or maybe trick or treating with the family. Dal Santveros joins us from one of the most popular areas for Halloween, live from Waikiki, with all the details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christian Ross. Yes, in the last half hour, we went over some safety tips to remember for the Halloween weekend, whether that's keeping gathering small, wearing a mask, and of course, getting vaccinated. You can see all the different pieces of advice on our website at khon2.com, as well as the different family events that are going on this weekend. But here, still continuing the conversation, we have State Representative Adrian Tam. Good morning, Adrian. Good morning, Dallas. Thank you for having me today. Yes, thanks for waking up with us today to talk about the November 1st date, which is right after Halloween, where the state will reopen again for non-essential travel. So the first question, Adrian, we've been following the recent crime, especially out here in Waikiki, whether it's the hijacked Honolulu disposable service truck to the second surfboard fire by the police substation. What is it that you have to share with the people about law enforcement and the safety here in your district? Well, you know, everyone should feel safe in Waikiki, and that would be a failure on our part if people don't feel safe. I think that, you know, more police presence is definitely needed, and that's what I've been hearing from my constituents. But we need a basically proactive approach to things. We need to understand why these are happening in the first place, whether it's desperation or it is poverty or it's mental health. Everyone needs to basically come together at the table to understand where do we divert these resources and how do we spend it so that we can mitigate these from happening instead of talking about what we can do when it happens. Mm -hmm. And I know there might be a potential surge, a surge, at least what officials are saying when it comes to non-essential travel. And here in this area, in your area, there's still a lot of industries that are really doing their best to survive under the Safe Access Oahu program, which limits, for example, restaurants operating at 50 percent. So in your point of view, Mr. Adrian Tam, what do you think could be maybe altered a little bit under the Safe Access Oahu program by still following that vaccination verification program? At the beginning, I was definitely, um, you know, worried as to what would be the result of our Safe Access Oahu program. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether cases were still going to be high, but as we see now, cases are getting lower. So I do believe that it's time to ease up restrictions, whether it's increasing the capacity for restaurants now that we have that vaccination checkpoint, or even allowing events to have a little bit more people. Again, if you're going to have events or to go to a restaurant, just make sure that you're continue to be wary, wear a mask, and to continue to practice social distancing. And last question here, if, if anyone has any comments or concerns, where can they reach you? You can always reach me at my office, 808-586-8520, um, or you can email me at reptam at capital.hawaii.gov. Thank you so much, State Rep. Adrian Tam, for joining us here on Wake Up Today. We appreciate your view and also your service, too. Thank you so much for having me today. And if you want some more tips on Halloween safety out here in Waikiki or anywhere across the state, as well as the preparation for that November 1st non-essential travel date reopening, you can head over to our website at kh12.com to get the latest. Reporting out here in Waikiki, Dallas Sonoveros, k 2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas. All right, get ready to celebrate because today is National Pumpkin Day.